This is one of the aspects of chemistry I absolutely love because I want to introduce you to this stuff. And you may think I'm being hideously rude and cheeky there because, of course, this stuff is chalk. Chalk, it's just calcium carbonate, can be found em everywhere and anywhere. It's chalk, uh, it's also seashells, it's limestone, it's coral reefs, actually. And I, I actually went down to Asda for this, so I haven't destroyed a coral reef for it. But you find this stuff just everywhere. And even at, like this, it's got a thousand uses. But this is actually one of those magical miracle things that are almost proof of God. Because it is so useful. How can anything so useful exist if there weren't a creator to create it? It's one of the most amazing things that we have around us that we just take for granted and basically ignore. Because if we heat this up, this will turn into calcium oxide, more commonly known as quicklime. And like that, it's used for loads of things. It's used uh, to keep your homes dry, it's used as a plaster, it's used as a mortar, it can be used in concretes. Uh, it's a fertiliser, you'll have put lime fertiliser on your garden, it's not quite the same stuff, but it was quicklime that was the fertiliser until the 1930s, 1940s. So it's an astonishing material with a million uses that is absolutely everywhere. Now to turn this into quicklime, actually it's really easy. All we have to do is take our chalk, stick it in a pot, we don't have to do anything else to it, Put it in a kiln or a fire, and then raise the temperature. Now the temperature needs to be about uh, 825 to 900 degrees centigrade, and you leave it for some time. What will happen is it will change from chalk into quicklime, or calcium carbonate, into calcium oxide. That calcium oxide actually isn't particularly stable, it will reabsorb the, cal uh, the carbon dioxide over time and become calcium carbonate again. But while it's in that uh, calcium oxide form, we can then start to use it for some really interesting things. So all we have to do is set that temperature and leave it for a bit. The bit you leave it for depends on how much you've bunged in there. But you can test it easily to see if the conversion have happened, and we'll talk about that in a minute. What we're going to do is turn this on, set the temperature, and then leave it for a couple of hours. Once you've left it for a bit, let it cool down and ground it into powder, this is what you get. Now you know that it's converted because it does this. There's my cooked chalk if I take a bit of ordinary tap water. Give that a second or two. Can you see the steam coming off there? This is called slaking. When you add the water, there's such a hot reaction, quite a lot of the water is turned into steam, and that slaking produces a hot reaction. And you can tell the you've done enough cooking when you get it to slake afterwards. Okay, so we started with chalk, and we cooked it at 825 to 900 degrees centigrade for a bit to make this stuff, which is called quick lime or burnt lime. Then when we add water, we create something called slaked lime or lime putty. Now, this... Burnt lime, the quick lime, is uh, quite caustic actually, because you saw the reaction with water. It reacts with water in your skin, in your lungs, and it will have the same kind of reaction. So you need to be a bit careful with it. Don't go breathing it in and wear gloves, like I'm not, but you should wear gloves and don't go breathing it in. But that quick lime, it's a commodity chemical on itself. You can buy bags of it if you want, or you can buy chalk or limestone and cook it either way. It's a ton of this stuff around and it is a huge, very cheap commodity chemical that's produced in the millions of tons and has been since prehistory. This has been uh, known about for at least the last three, four thousand years at least. Now I'm interested in it because of that really strong reaction that we just saw. It is astonishingly exothermic. The reaction itself can get up to about 300 degrees centigrade, no problem at all. So we put a little bit of our quick lime into this here, and then add a few drops of water to it, and it will begin to get extraordinarily hot, and that will come off as a steam. You can already see a lot of steam being generated there, and if you're doing a large amount of this, you have to be careful with uh, a wood surround, because it will burn the wood it gets that hot. So it gets incredibly hot. Of course, what we've got here is a Stirling engine, and a Stirling engine is a heat difference engine. 
So we've give that a few minutes to cook, and if the thing gets uh, too cold, add a few more drops of water, then we can watch that Stirling engine run. Okay, that does get incredibly hot, incidentally. It gives out about 6.7 kilojoules per 50 grams. And it was thought that it helped decomposition of bodies. It doesn't. It withdraws the water and actually preserves the body. But it is an alkali, so you do have to take appropriate care with it. Like I say, gloves and don't breathe the stuff in. But it is an amazing material with so many uses, including being able to run a heat engine from it. So I thought that was awesome. So though when you make it, you drive off carbon dioxide, once this is finished with its reaction and the heat isn't generated as enough, to get that back, all we have to do is heat it again to drive off the water, and then we get straight back to our calcium oxide or our quicklime. So an amazingly useful stuff that could be part of a circle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.